Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Mr. Reyes fourth grade class. All right, today we're going to be talking about fractions. All right, what is a fraction? Okay, so one way to look at what is a fraction, there are several ways to look at it actually. So one is we can look at a fraction as a part of a whole. Part of a whole. For example, okay, let's say we have a pie. Be a pizza pie. It could be a any type of pie you like. All right. Imagine your favorite pie. All right. And now you're gonna cut this pie into four pieces. All right. So here's your pie. That's part. That's one whole pie. Now we cut it into four pieces. We're gonna eat one. So this is telling me that I actually ate one part of four. Okay. Big one part of all that. Uh, pizza, all right, pizza pie. Now, that's why it's called uh, a fraction is part of a whole, okay? Another way to look at fractions are, like, you can think of fractions as part of a set. Part of a set. And um, really easy, we can think of uh, a set could be anything um, or a group of something. So, for example, I'm going to say, we're gonna draw four pets. Okay, here's my cat. Excuse my drawings, cause I'm not very good at drawing, but uh, here you go, and here's my little dog. All right, and here is a chicken and a fish. Now, here is my set. Let's pretend that I have uh, four pets. I might. Uh, that could be a question. How many pets do you have? I have four pets. And if I ask you what, um, how many fish do I have? You can circle it. All right. So that's the question. I have one fish out of four pets. So that's what means what a fraction can be. All right. A fraction can come from a whole, like a whole, and cut into pieces. All right. Or it can come from a set, a group, and then you just count what they're asking, okay? And remember, the denominator always tells you the whole number that it got cut into, right? Four pieces goes on the bottom. The ones you use goes on the top. So this is your numerator. And this is your denominator. Your denominator, I always think of it, always goes down on the bottom of the fraction and same here all right there's four pets that i had and how many fish do i have one all right so remember you can look at fractions in two different ways you can look at it as a part of a whole or as a part of a set all right thank you for watching and i hope you continue looking up at this video see that if you have any questions feel free to contact me uh, boys and girls, you have my uh, information, so feel free to contact me anytime you want, and I hope you enjoyed this video.